Hey everyone, welcome. Um, my name is Josh. Today our video is going to be going over the uh, converting basically a fridge freezer unit into a fermentation vessel. Um, I'm basically going to bypass the um, thermostat on the fridge and then hook it up to a new love controller um, and that's what's going to basically control the temperature. So a quick overview, um, this is the fridge right here. You can kind of see it's a Whirlpool unit, fridge freezer combo. Pretty good shape. Um, took everything apart, kind of cleaned it out, seen what everything kind of worked. Uh, but basically back here there's a fan and then the uh, cooling unit is right here. Um, so basically it's a one compressor, single compressor unit which basically chills the freezer and then takes that cold air down into the fridge unit um, to keep the fridge kind of controlled at a temp as well. Um, it's only got a single thermostat on there it pretty much controls the whole system I don't know much about you know refrigerators um, other than the, the basics but to me what it looks like like I said the freezer stays freezing um, temp and then the thermostat basically controls the temp of the fridge unit um, to basically you know cold medium or or warm um, but what we're gonna do is actually bypass this thermostat right here and we're going to tie our love dual stage controller into it um, by looking at it, like I said, I briefly uh, glanced over the wiring diagram, but it was pretty confusing. Um, it was just really small writing, and I couldn't really you know, decipher what it was what it was being said on there. So, um, but by looks of it, like I said, this is uh, green, which should be the ground um, going in. Um, the black is actually the, the main power coming into the unit, and then there's a relay, obviously, on the thermostat that that sends it back through this orange. Um, as you can kind of see, the orange takes it up to this unit right here, which I believe is um, a timer unit basically for the defrost, the auto defrost for the freezer. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to bypass that, but we'll kind of find out. Uh, for my neutral, I'm actually going to tie into these white lines right here, these wires. Um, this is actually for the, for the uh, light for the fridge. So I'm going to go ahead and guess. Like I said, I'm guessing here, but the yellow is actually the power um, for the light bulb and then the white is the neutral um, so we're gonna just tie back into that neutral and then uh, see if that works for our love controller so basically I said white it's gonna be our neutral green it's gonna be our ground black's gonna be our power and then we're gonna relay back into this orange to send the power back on to turn the unit back on and off um, that's the theory of it We'll see how it goes. I'll update you guys if I had to, you know, adjust any of that wiring or switch anything. Um, hopefully not, but uh, like I said, we'll see. Stay tuned. All right, you can kind of see the door. I'm going to take apart because I'm actually going to put my love controller in the uh, the door and my uh, power outlets for the heaters in the door. But um, thought I would just kind of peel it off, maybe a couple screws holding it in, but nope. Not the case. It looks like actually this is all wrapped in plastic as you can see. Um, and then it looks like they blew some insulation in it and kind of formed it to the shell, the plastic shell. So I actually have to peel this thing. I don't know if you can kind of see. I'm peeling this, this white plastic off. Um, kind of like an egg from a hard boiled egg. And then uh, looks like what I'm going to have to do is actually shave the styrofoam or the insulation off to kind of get it to be flat, um, kind of give it a cleaner look, which is also nice in a way because then I don't have to put any insulation on myself. Maybe I'll just put a little coating on there to dress it up, make it look nice. But uh, for the most part, I'm going to go back at it. You can kind of see the mess I'm making as of now. Um, but uh, I'll let you know how it goes. All right, you can kind of see I got the door, all the plastic off, and. Uh, what I'm doing is actually kind of sanding this uh, insulation down. Um, I busted off the big chunks, you know, with just a uh, hammer. And then what I'm actually using is this little tool that actually sands drywall edges down. I'm just using that to kind of rub against it and, and sand it pretty flush. Um, it's coming out pretty good. Pretty good. Um, some of those bigger dents are when I was chipping it away and uh, didn't really plan on doing this. So, but you can see it's coming out fairly flush. Um, I don't know, I might just leave it. I think it looks clean enough. We'll see. Like I said, I might put a uh, another insulation cover on there, just depending on how the uh, how the final product turns out. 
All right, so what we did now, we shaved it all down and basically I put this track back up to seal the door. Um, you can kind of see it here. What we did is it basically peeled off. It was just on with adhesive and then kind of kept on with the, uh, um, the door. So what I did, I just got some self-tapping screws, uh, metal screws, and just kind of screwed them in here every so often. What I'll do then is uh, I'll go back through and I'm going to caulk this top with the uh, silicone bead. And that will help, you know, seal it and uh, kind of reattach it in some of the spots where the screws aren't. But uh, for now, I mean, it seems to work pretty good. You know, it suctions back and locks like it should. Not as tight, but I'm hoping once I caulk it, um, that should kind of take care of that. But uh, what I'm going to do now is start working on um, hooking up the love controller and then putting the thermostat in the door and I'm going to actually put a box in the door here. Um, you'll see in my other video how I assembled that. Um, but basically it's going to have two prongs for the heaters um, which is hooked up to the dual stage love controller so um, when I need to heat the carboys, um, the, the plugs for those, those will heat the heating elements and then the other um, side, the cool side of the love controller will switch on and off this compressor and I got the fridge running right now just to uh, Make sure it works. I bought it and never turned it on and uh, seems to be working okay. It's getting chilled now, um, but stay tuned and we'll give you a video on that. All right, got it all working. Um, first try, actually, it scared me because the thing was beeping, but uh, I actually had to reprogram it because it's set for two probes by default and I'm only using one, so it was an error from the probe, actually, that was making it beep like that. But anyways, um, so exactly what I thought was was what, you know, I tied into, um, I, I snipped all these wires here, so you can kind of see this, the wires that went to the old thermostat. Um, and I basically just took the green, hooked it into the ground, um, black was the hot, um, tied the black in, and then connected to the, the neutral, the common that was going into the light, um, and then fed back in my relay back into that orange wire right there sorry, orange wire right there, um, to snap it on and off, so that worked great, um, got everything hooked up on the box, so you can kind of see the, the, the love, um, controller right now is on the front, now we're going to be mounting that on the door actually pretty soon, um, just got to get around to doing it, and then you can see the back of the box, which is going to be exposed, um, inside the fridge is actually going to be where the outlet is for the heating pumps or the heating um, elements so um, basically that's it um, you can kind of see um, it's reading 45 degrees right now on the probe um, so if I want to set it <coughs> to turn the fridge on um, I got it set at 60 right now um, the heating is on at 68 so um, if I want to turn that down and get that fridge working, let me set it down here. For some reason, it's still in the decimal point, so I'm going to have to change that so it doesn't take so long. But if I wanted to get into the decimal point, um, I could. So let's just say 40 degrees I need it to be. Um, set it, and then, I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but that basically kicked it on, and now the fridge is running. So that's great, and you can kind of see on the front reading here, um, that it's at 46 degrees right now. So, um, basically that's going to take it back down to 47, and then uh, go from there. Or take it down to 40, and then it'll go from there. Cool. Okay, so what we did here is... Uh, Cut back the phone, back to the wall, um, so the box would fit in there. What I think I'm going to do is actually add another layer of insulation there, just to uh, help it so it's more secure, so that way that uh, fridge doesn't turn on and off so much, so it doesn't leak so much air. But um, basically did that, mounted it, cut the hole out on the fridge to mount the uh, love controller, so you can kind of see it step back. Um, Love controllers mounted, um, ran the wire up there, feeded the wire back in, uh, there's a little hole already in there so I actually just had a little cap in there so I just popped it out and fed the wires in there. But uh, I'm going to clean up those wires, probably you know strap them up to the ceiling, 
Um, make them a little, look a little bit nicer than what they are now. Um, but what we're going to do is put the box back together, get everything mounted, make sure everything looks good, get some screws in the front. I'll probably put some screws through the front into the box. Um, I know it's not going to be the prettiest, but at least the box will be a little more secure with that. And I'll do the same thing. I'll just use those self-tapping screws, metal screws, to put in through the box, and that will hold it. So I'm going to get all wired back up, and we should be all set. All right, so we're all up and running. A um, couple adjustments I still need to make, but um, you can see we're kind of testing out the thermometer right now. Um, it's uh, set at 45. I got the heating element running at... Um, right now you can see the out to dot that one that dot correlates with that and then when the cooling kicks on it will correlate with that one right there um, so right now we're set at 45 44 45 degrees um, it's at 42 so it's still kind of heating up but you can see when I open I still have the light on there so I can kind of see I don't think I'll have it open very often so um, no, no need to actually take it apart or disengage that light but you can see I got a thermal probe that runs down into this thermal well right here um, that's reading the inside we just got some sanitizer in there right now but um, inside of this is my heating pad wrapped inside of this insulation um, it's starting to get warm in there so I can feel it starting to heat up but basically we got the plug coming out of that running up um, along these attachments and then into the outlet right here and then the other side we got the uh, the phone jack going in um, for the thermal probe but you can kind of see it running down there and in there I'll probably do something to clean these up a little bit better um, but anyway so we got that running um, seems to be running fine we're just kind of messing with the parameters right now um, seeing what we like it at and then uh, we'll kind of go from there hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions um, just ask feel free I can try and help you out with much as I can um, refrigerator questions um, I can kind of give you the, the basic rundown every fridge is different so it's really difficult to tell wiring wise what needs to be done but um, this job I mean probably with the probe everything I mean the fridge probably 150 200 bucks to do everything um, but well worth it I mean obviously if you guys know as you guys know you know beer beer uh, fermentation control is pretty important so I'm pretty excited to get it rolling and um, put my first beer in there. Thanks.